guess if you could call this time morning. It's almost 4 a.m. and we are in the car en route to the airport for a whirlwind trip to Tucson. We're flying in today and then we leave on Thursday, so it's only about two days there. Uh, but we're gonna go check on the Tucson house, do some upgrades, and fly around back really quickly. We just got to the airport. Um, looks like the storm might have a little break in it. It's supposed to have a huge winter storm hit the whole Pacific Northwest this week. Got a bunch of snow in the mountains yesterday, lots of wind last night, and rain this morning. So hopefully there's enough of a break to be able to take off this morning. And then there's supposed to be more storm hitting today through Wednesday night, a blizzard warning in effect. So we will see, fingers crossed, that we're able to take off. In Seattle at the Delta Sky Club, one of my favorite lounges here while I'm traveling in the West Coast. It's really nice, it's two-story, and got three hours to kill before the next flight, so hanging out for a while, and then we'll catch the next one. Weather was rolling in on the flight, so it was pretty turbulent. Landing was a little interesting. I had to fly a little sideways to get in here. All right in Tucson at the airport. We just landed, we're headed off to pick up our rental car. Just got keys to our rental car. Guess what it is? Brand new Wagoneer. <laughs> Driving up into the Catalina foothills. One of my favorite areas in all of Tucson. That's why we bought a house down here. It's just beautiful, so lovely, and you're up high in elevation, you're at the foothills of the mountains, and you get a beautiful view of all of Tucson. We're on Sunrise, which is one of the main streets up in the foothills, which kind of goes east to west along the mountains. And so we're gonna be heading up to the property shortly so we can get first glimpse. We haven't been up here in many months, so we're gonna see what condition it's in, how everything looks, what needs to be repaired or fixed or replaced uh, once we get up there. So we're gonna drive up and take a look at it. All right, just pulling on in and it is nice to be back here. Well, I was gonna show you the house, but then I had to make a quick stop after meeting with one of our, our cleaner at Ace to pick up tape measure because we for some reason didn't leave one at the property so now we're running back to the property also how great are the sunsets here these are the mountains we're in the foothills and the sunset is just spectacular all the way around and then out down there is downtown tucson so just shopped at lowe's uh we saw awesome husky uh they were shopping at lowe's too they're locals anyway we got some things for the fireplace insert that we're going to be building we got a bunch of tools as you can see and then i was going to make a switch to dewalt but dewalt doesn't make a 20 volt leaf blower so now i'm off to home depot to go find Milwaukee tools because Ace had none in stock and for some reason the Amazon stuff never showed up at the house that we ordered this last week. So next stop, Home Depot. Back at the property, I found all the Milwaukee tools I needed for this project. So luckily they had everything I needed in stock at Home Depot so we could get this going. We just got to our Airbnb. It is 10 o'clock at night. So we've been like on the go since 3 a.m. And I could not be happier. I just walked in and this place is amazing. <laughs> Let me show you around. Okay, so the whole thing is like very Southwestern architecture. I feel like I'm brought back in time. I mean, the details on some of this, these pieces are just amazing and incredible. Um, I think the real test that was gonna be this bed. Let's see. <sighs> It feels comfortable. I could just stop the tour right here. I'm I'm ready to go to sleep. But there's more to show you. Okay, so 
Um, I mean, it's the whole thing is it, it's pretty small, right? You see, it's just like one room, but the, the touches are incredible. I mean, like, like this pot and this piece, they're all like very unique. This is not decorated from Ikea, you know what I mean? This is a very thoughtful way of styling this place in a really um, specific style. I love it, I love it. Um, there's no real kitchen here. We just have a mini fridge with our leftover pizza that we ate tonight in. Not a big, like we don't need a whole kitchen in this place. So this is perfect for what we need. And then there's just the bathroom in here, which is nice and spacious. I mean, again, like look at this kind of detailing they put into this place. Really incredible, really incredible. Um, we're only staying for two nights, but I think they're gonna be very comfortable. It is day two here in Arizona. Last night we got to our Airbnb and just absolutely crashed. I don't think I even like turned over in my sleep. I like put my, closed my eyes and then woke back up again. I could have definitely used a few more hours as evidenced by the bags under my eyes, but we have a lot to do today. So we got up early again and we're heading back to the house to get started on our projects. Yesterday we forgot to take pretty much any footage of the work that we're doing in the house, the projects that we started. It just became one of those whirlwind days. We like stepped foot in and we're like, oh my gosh, this, 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 go, go, go. Um, so hopefully today we'll get a little bit more to show you all. Um, but today's big focus is on estimates. We asked a bunch of contractors and people to come in to give us bids on potential future project ideas that we've had just so we have a better sense of what that might look like. Um, so we will report back on what we've learned, how today went, and see where the day takes us. So we're inside the house today and I'm working on a fireplace insert. So I have a piece of plywood here I got from Lowe's. Here's the fireplace I'm gonna build, a faceplate here, and then a frame on the back to hold up the insert. And so I have a bunch of tools I got here and then the framing materials. And then I have brackets as well. I stuck over here, so I'm gonna build that out and then I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So the fireplace insert is done. So it looks like this on the front. It'll be painted black so you don't see it. And then the back is like this set up. So it's this frame. I kind of ran out wood, but it's sturdy enough. No one's gonna be messing with it. So it should stay on there pretty well. And then it just goes in the fireplace like that. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. The fireplace insert is now all painted, as you can see here. I found some other wood to fix that little issue too. And now it's ready to go into the fireplace.